Hi everyone, I'm going to uh, do another resin tray and uh, I want to, uh, I, I have got two different sizes but this uh, peacock <laughs> won't fit in the smaller tray so I'm going to do the same tray as I did last time and I've also ordered these and they're for the handles they come in four different sizes um, I think there's only one curved, the others are straight, but um, those are the handles I'm going to be using and what I should do is I should just place them in the resin. But I only want to do a thin layer first um, in a dark blue, so that what I want to do is, if you saw my last gel nails, these. <laughs> These are absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to try to put these colours in here. Um, whether it works, I'm hoping it will, because there's such vibrant colours there. So that's what I want to do with those. So like I say, I'm going to do the base just um, a plain colour. So like I say, so when I put this on, um, I don't want it sort of wishy-washy. I just want a plain black colour, well, brown, uh, <laughs> blue. And then I shall, uh, once that's uh, dried, then um, I shall fill these. But whether it'll be until, because then you won't do a thin layer, it doesn't matter if that dries overnight, um, because I've still got um, a topping to put on. So I can do just a bit extra uh, just to fill these, but I thought what a good idea, you know, if you're doing a lot of trays, this is the ideal way of doing it. So I'm going to get uh, my resin, uh, which is a one-to-one -one mix, and then I'll come back and we'll go from there. So I've mixed my resin in there, and I'm going to use these, wait a minute, wrong way, these, they are not the powders, it's the... Uh, liquid. So I don't know how dark this blue is. So we shall find out if I need. Really I don't want to use that do I? we we'll use one of these instead. Like I say, it's, I've never used these before, so I uh, haven't got a clue what the colour will be. Because they are a lot stronger than um, the powders. So it's easier to try a little at a time than a lot. I'm going to take them out. Like I say, it uh, really sticks to everything. I'll just uh, wipe this off. I don't want it to I just get another tissue so I don't run out. Put myself in again and uh, I think uh, it needs a little tiny bit more. So I'm going to mix this and if it isn't dark enough I just put a little bit of black in and then uh, we'll start pouring. So I'm going to pour these handles first and what I want to do is um, just put some in, in here so that I can do that with it, so that I can get it all the same. So, <laughs> yeah. shouldn't be in that way or else I'm going to knock it over. 
So I'm just going to put some. And what it, I don't use in here, then it will get used in the tray. So we'll uh, endeavour to pour in here. So we'll pour in the little legs. And a bit later on I might um, put something in these. A bit of glitter or something. I don't know, just wait and see. But we'll do these. Make some nice handles, hopefully. Do you know, I've just opened the windows. Would you believe there's a blessy big blue bottle? And this is uh, October. They shouldn't be here. I'm hoping these will come out right. But we shall see. Just pour them up to the same level. You must remember when you are putting everything down to um, make sure everything's level. Okay, so I'll uh, bring this down again, okay, and we'll start pouring this. It's a nice colour. Uh, it seems as if the uh, what, um, the fluid um, colours are uh, really are a lot lot stronger. A lot stronger and I've had me um, resin in hot water well not boiling water but I've had it in hot water as you can see when you do that there isn't one bubble as I can see and it's leaving like a haze with resin there's nothing you can do uh, about a design. Resin will do what it wants to do. Uh, it will, <laughs> if it wants to go one way or the other with the colours, then that's what it will do. You cannot make it do exactly what you want it to do. It has a mind of its own. So now I'm going to leave this overnight. I'll keep checking on it in case any bubbles do appear and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing this upside down. Um, this is, um, I don't want to get any uh, bits on, but <laughs> that can't be helped. So this is dry and there's peacock pheasant. And if I just turn you that way, them are all my colours that I used in my video last. I'm hoping this works. I mean, I haven't got a clue really how this is going to be. If I bring it down a little bit, um, I just don't know. So I've got all 12 colours there and uh, I'll just do it and play some music as I'm going along.
Well, I didn't film everything that I was doing because you could see what I was doing, but I don't think it's worked. I'm hoping I can't put my light on because it will cure it otherwise, and I, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try and lift this up without it moving. We shall see. That's gone from up there anyway. And take that one off. Take this one off. Okay, keep touching the gels. Okay, let's uh, pull it up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can't believe how well that's, that has come out. I was expecting it to run everywhere, but it hasn't. Oh, I am so chuffed with that. So what I'm going to do now, um, I've got my lamp, because obviously these are UV gels. And uh, where am I going to put that? I need to put that out of the way. And uh, take the bottom out. There are many wires. And uh, so what I need to do now is cure it and uh, I'll be back when it's cured.